Hello guys and welcome back to another uh, Axure video. So this will be the first of a long series, I hope, uh, of videos on Axure RP9. So what about repeaters? So repeaters is one of the most uh, powerful uh, widget of, um, of Axure. And uh, what I would like to, to show you guys uh, today is about uh, how to use it uh, properly uh, for the mouse over and the selected state. Let's get into it. So let's drag and drop the element. Uh, we are going to change the content with this heading, change the styles uh, with, for example, I don't know, uh, Roboto, uh, regular uh, 16. And I would like to have a uh, um, left padding of 60 pixels uh, and a height of 60 pixels and a, a width of 240 pixels. Okay, and the text should be vertically centered. So uh, I imagine this as uh, basically an element like uh, could be a sidebar that we can have on, on the left side of, of our website or uh, online tool, whatever. And these are basically the elements inside. So this would be, would be basically the links to the, uh, to the pages. Uh, let's go to change the content of it. Uh, for example, these are links we can call them here we could put basically the links uh, uh, as it should be uh, on a website for example uh, home page and after our product product and um, here we could say company oops and the company funny okay and we can have about us that in fact is the same thing of company but whatever uh, and login for example now in the interaction panel we just go to uh, set the text of the heading uh, equal to this is normal uh, stuff for a repeater item item dot links okay and as you can see, basically uh, now it's populated with the uh, uh, with the content with uh, we decided. Okay, so uh, now how to uh, do the mouse over and uh, select state of it? So just go inside it, and let's go into the interaction panel. And uh, now in the shape properties, we are going to add a mouse over style. Like for example, the fill content we could say. We can put something like um, yeah, light blue and font color also sort of greenish something a bit darker. Yes, like this. Okay, so this is the mouse over and we are going to copy it for the uh, selected state. Okay, so command uh, V but on it i would like to have also a border thickness of uh, four pixels with the border visibility only on the left and uh, the color line again the same uh, green okay so now we have the mouse over style that is this one and we have the selected state that is this one okay but again, this is just a label. We could we could put uh, something else inside, uh, whatever we want. So like, for example, a small dot or whatever. 16, it's okay. Color, uh, we do it, I don't know, gray, uh, without border, uh, no border, uh, thickness zero, okay. And we're going to put it inside with it, okay. 16 pixels. Okay, so this is our element. Here again, we are going to put uh, some style effects like a mouse over effect where the fill color would be uh, green and same stuff for the selected color. Okay, here we are going just to copy paste it. Oops, copy this and paste it here. 
what we're going to do here uh, with the, with this uh, sidebar is to stick it to the left of the of the window right so to do so uh, since the repeater doesn't have the same uh, properties of um, dynamic panel we put it inside the dynamic panel so we drag a dynamic panel we uh, cut it and we put it inside uh, this dynamic panel okay and so we just put it here we do fit to content okay and we pin to browser to the left top keep in front and that's fine okay so now if we go uh, in preview we can see that basically we have our menu okay sidebar menu for example and this works uh, perfectly but as you can see only one the element of the uh, of the link uh, works properly but if you go on, on over on the uh, little dots it works also how to trigger both things uh, on on this on a single mouse over that's uh, really really simple so just take both of them okay both the elements inside the repeater and group them into a folder and let's um, name it like uh, content okay and on the folder itself we should put uh, in the interaction uh, panel the fire mouse style effect okay. and if we go in preview now basically as we can see voila it works perfectly okay now the last thing that we have to do basically is to put the click uh, so the selected state for both of them to do so basically we are going to uh, select uh, the content folder okay and uh, first of all we have to put the in new interaction new interaction on click set selected this widget okay to through okay if we go in preview and uh, we click as we can see all the elements clicked basically are selected but this is not the behavior that we want. We want that only one at a time of the links basically are, uh, is selected. So how to do that? It's really simple. Again, we take this content and we, um, uh, we go into show all here in the group pop properties and we uh, set up a selection group as we do for example for uh, radio buttons, right? So selection group, we call it, I don't know, content again okay and so this is the selection group so once we have the selection group uh, we go on the repeater okay on the outline panel and we have to uncheck isolate selection group okay if we do so it should work properly so if we go now in preview voila here it works and if we click once uh, voila it's selected only one at a time and this is it this of course uh, it's uh, vertical but we can have this uh, uh, for example on the repeater we can have it uh, horizontal so again we can have it uh, exactly how it should be for a header menu uh, right so we have this 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 and this okay so uh, the idea here is basically to avoid to use a complicated interaction to to do so because we can uh, do it also using the mark unmark and etc etc but this is absolutely the easiest way to do to do so and for this video is finished uh, guys i hope you enjoyed and see you in the next video and remember to uh, put like and uh, click on the bell Okay, see you.